Hello, all my rising stars, and welcome back to my channel. I just want to thank y'all once again for the love and support that y'all are showing me on my channel. I really, truly thank you guys. I thank y'all so much. Uh, today, story time, I'm going to be trying to grab me something to eat. Got me some fries from um, Wendy's because I'm trying to build myself back up from, you know, the 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 hurt and pain that i have been in depressed stressed everything but i'm slowly coming and guess what i'm gonna get there but um today i just kind of want to talk about um how are you guys first of all feeling out there i hope that all of you are doing great and just know if you ain't heard it yesterday today or forevermore just know i love y'all i love every last one of y'all and i want to see every last one of my rising stars rise to the top don't forget that and excuse any noise you hear in the background i'm sitting in my car um because that's you know i can give me some content like that uh like i say i'm gonna be eating some wendy's and talking to you guys for a little bit um i have this Tropical berry. Tastes pretty good. It ain't what I thought, but it tastes pretty good. Um, I haven't had a big appetite to really eat much. I try my hardest to eat so that I won't get so sick to where I'm just, you know. But I wanted to talk about my niece. Shadesha, I'm going to shout you, shout you out till I can't no more. That baby showed her Amy some love, y'all. And I will never, ever forget it. Never, never. Because she did not have to do what she did, but she did it. And I thank you, and I love you. And she asked me, she asked me if I could do a story time on an incident that happened at my home when I lived back in, in um west texas and um i'm sorry guys i almost dropped my food on the floor um i was living back in west texas and i was in a relationship with this guy and he was doing things that he wasn't supposed to do but my house had got raided and the kids was in the room and she remembered and she asked me she said Hey, Donna, can you do a story time on it? So I'm going to do a story time on it for you. This is for you, Shadesha. Love you. But I had been in a relationship with a guy. And that that guy had, he sold drugs. And I'm pretty sure everybody knew what he did. He was from another state. So he was into so, he was into a lot of things. But me getting into a relationship with him i thought it was just gonna be peaches and cream i thought i had met somebody that i was gonna be with and we was gonna be together and into the end of time and um everything turned out to be just crazy put it like that and I ended up having two babies by this guy. But anyway, let's get to the story. Because I did have uh, one um, person called me and told me I ramble too much. If when I'm, when I'm speaking of something, I need to get right to it. So let me get right to it. Anyway, one day I was watching. I had my kids and I had my nieces. And I didn't know that my house was being watched. I didn't know that they were doing transactions and stuff out of my out of my home because I don't know if y'all seen the story of me being in an abusive relationship, but 
he would never allow me to be around his company. He would really never allow me to be in the same room. And I didn't really know what was going on. But we had just moved into this home, big, nice home, old home. You know, the older the houses are, the bigger they are. So we hadn't been here this long, so been there that long. So I'm thinking like, you know, everything is just going well. So we started fixing up the house. I fixed up the living room and they, in the kitchen, we had a, it was a leak in the water heater or something, in the hot water heater. So they couldn't turn the gas on because it was a leak in there. Well, my landlord was having it worked on and I had those uh, little electric skillets and stuff like that. I was still able to cook and stuff for my kids. So I got up that morning, I got my nieces and my kids and I told them, you know, I was gonna get ready to clean up and that they all needed to go in the room and play. And she told me they was playing Oh, should they should, if I'm wrong, forgive me. Just put it in the comments. I think they was playing Mario. Or they was playing something, she told me. That day, she told me when she asked me, when she re requested me to do the story. She, um, they was in a room and they was all playing. So I'm cleaning up and I had to use the restroom. And I'm sitting on the toilet and I hear this big old boom. I'm like, what are y'all doing? It was the task force, the, I don't know who it was. They kicked my door down and came in there and had guns on all of us, all of us. I don't know, she told me they all started putting their hands behind their backs and everything. I didn't know that y'all, because it's not funny. It's funny now, but it wasn't funny then. But y'all, when she was telling me, I was, oh my goodness, I was dying. I was dying because I didn't know that because I'm on the toilet. I'm using the restroom and they telling me, hurry up, ma'am, get off the toilet. I'm like, dang, what's going on? So I get off the toilet. They got all of the kids. I get off the toilet and they asked me if I could call somebody. And I think I called my brother, oh no, uh, my niece call her mama and I was telling them what had happened I don't know if they was at work I don't remember but um I know y'all gonna get tired of me saying I don't remember but y'all I'm serious my brain is my brain is on a whole it, it skips and skips and skips and skips out of everything I'd have been through in my life luckily I can remember anything but back to the story um they come in and they asking me who are you and i'm just like i'm the person who lived there so they asked me do i know these other two people that they were finna bring back to the house and i'm like yeah one of them is the father of my kids and the other one is his cousin they was like well we've been watching your house for like um a couple of weeks and um this is what's going on they told me what was going on and then they told me um, that the reason why I had went to the front door, I guess, I went to do something, take some trash out of something. And they told me that they was that they was a they was gonna um, kick the door down sooner, but when they seen me, they thought it was the wrong house because by this time they not knowing who I am because apparently the father of my kids was in a relationship with another girl and that's who they had been seeing you know doing what they was doing together so they were just like where did you come from who are you and i'm just like what do you mean who am i i'm this person and this is my house and these are my kids and my nieces and you know what's going on so they tell me what's going on they bring them um the two the, the other two people back to the house and they tell us we couldn't talk to each other and then they told me that uh i needed somebody to come get the kids because i was about to go to jail i'm like go to jail go to jail for what 
And they say uh, I was going to jail for possession of a controlled substance and something else. And I'm just like, oh, y'all got to be kidding me. Y'all, got, I do not sell drugs or none of that. Why are y'all taking me to jail? I mean, I was hurt. I was so hurt. I did not know what to do. I'm just like, sir, I don't know what's going on. And one of the task force guys, he was telling me, he was just like, I never seen you. I never seen you but i have seen him with this person and i see them all the time so i thought that he was a couple with her i didn't know he was a couple with you we barely started watching your house when um the other guy not not my kid's father the other guy had called somebody over there and he he, he did a transaction or whatever and he said they started watching my house ever since then. And I'm crying. I'm confused. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And he asked me, he said, did you know that the father of your children was selling drugs? I said, yes, but I didn't know he was selling drugs out of my house. I say I have been in an abusive relationship with this man. This man don't even allow me up in the front of my house when he have people over here. I stay in the back room, me and my kids. I can't even tell you. Well, have you been in the kitchen? I say, sir, look, my gas is not even on. So I don't stay in the kitchen and cook and do all that other stuff. You know, I do what I need to do for my kids and we out of there. I say, me and this man ain't even really on good terms. I say, but we just live together. So he say, I believe you, but I can't um, say that you're not going to jail because you're going to jail too. So I'm just sitting there, I'm crying. They came, in, my brother and them came and picked up the kids. I don't remember who picked me up, my brother, my sister-in-law, one of them, um, came and picked up the kids. They take me to jail. I'm in jail and I'm wondering like, what is going on? Like, I'm crying, I'm, I'm, I'm stressed out. I'm, I don't know what to do and all of a sudden, I get, um, I guess one of the, um, the sheriffs or somebody called me. I guess how they do the booking and everything. The book, yeah, that's the booking and everything. And they asking me all these questions. And they telling me that him and the other guy, that we all just came to jail together, they about to bond out. But I'm staying here because no one have made a bond for me yet. So I'm like, what? Oh, I really started crying, but I didn't know what to do because I didn't know where I was going to get no money from. I didn't know why he wasn't bonding me out, and I didn't know what was going on at the time. So, y'all, to make a long story short, I was totally confused of the whole situation. But if y'all want to hear part two of this, um video be looking out for it because there will be a part two and don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love y'all all my rising stars peace